So last one, we took, a, we took a, a logarithm, a single quantity logarithm, and we expressed it into multiple logarithms, right? So what you saw is something you saw it expand, right? You expanded it. So that's the process. A lot of times we'll say, you know, expand them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to want to rewrite this as a single logarithm, which is going to be condensing, right? Bringing everything down to one. So a lot of times I might just say, you know, rewrite this as a single logarithm or condense the expression. So if you guys remember, when we were expanding, the last thing we did was the power property, right? We didn't have to do this all the way. We did this all the way at the end. That was the last step. We took all the exponents and removed them now. Now when we're condensing, that's going to be the first thing we're going to want to do. So let's go and take a look at all of our exponents. So we can say this is log base 3 of x squared minus log base 3 of x minus 1 plus log base oh, 3 of z to the fifth to the third power. Okay, So the first thing I want to do is take all of these and raise them to their powers. Then, just like you would do order of operations when we're condensing, now let's simplify inside the parentheses first. So if I have multiplication, that's going to tell me I'm going to have to now re oh, I'm sorry, if I have addition, that means I can now rewrite these as multiplication. So this remains the same, log base 3 of x squared minus, this is now going to be log. Notice how they're both base 3. Sorry, I keep on forgetting to write that. Both base 3, so then this is going to be log base 3 of x minus 1 times z, z to the fifth. And I already brought that up. And then that is being raised to the third power. Huh? You don't add them, but remember you multiply. multiply. x to the m times x to the m. Oh, I'm sorry. That's added. Yeah. x to the m times x to the n is x to the m times n. And then also a to the m times a to the n raised to the x, you distribute that to each one. So yes, this would be x minus, three, x minus 1 cubed times z to the 15, which I'll get to in a second. But now we see I have, actually, let's just do it now. We distribute this. So that's 3 to the 15th, right? Okay. Now, the next thing is we have subtraction. So therefore, we know we can write this as a single quantity with division. So therefore, this becomes log base 3 of x squared all over um, x minus 1 cubed z to the 15th. Huh? When you combine them, when you, write, when you have a log minus a log, you rewrite them only as one single quantity. Your, your property wants to be one single quantity. OK? There you go.